Welcome again to the old principle. Here we go for another half an hour of English. Um, really, in this program, it's an opportunity because I'm talking all the time. Talk, 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 talk. So you have a chance to listen to English and become familiar with the way American English sounds. Now, today's lesson is number 192, magnetic cookies. Now, if you just say magnet, that's zi tie, right? Magnet, okay? Magnetic cookies means that these cookies, yo xi ying li, they have an att attraction like a magnet has an attraction. But before we go any farther, I must tell you, this is my story, so listen carefully as Connie reads it. Story 192, Magnetic Cookies. I was just an ordinary student. I didn't get bad grades, neither did I get good grades. But there was one thing of a great concern to my father. My mathematics skills were very poor. Perhaps he hoped that someday I would go to college and become an engineer like his father. For sure, my mathematics needed to improve. Dad asked Mr. Vineyard, who lived farther up the hill, to tutor me in mathematics. Apparently, Mr. V was very good in the math. I was expected to walk all the way up the hill behind our house a couple of times a week. A hard task for a little boy who would rather be playing than studying. Although Mr. V was a nice man, nevertheless, for some reason, I was always looking for ways to play hooky. <laughs> some days I would say that I was sick. Other days I would make arrangements to do something else and uh, conveniently forget. Eventually it became apparent both to Mr. V and to my father that I was either not very talented in mathematics or at least not very interested. Maybe Mr. V should have learned a lesson from Mrs. Paul, who lived down 36th Street from our house. Despite the fact that she was a tall, elderly lady and really not dynamic enough to hold the interest of energetic children, she did organize and teach a little neighborhood Bible story class every week. I was not really interested in the Bible stories at that time, but I always looked forward to going. Why? Mrs. Paul served cookies and milk, and no little boy in his right mind would pass up cookies and milk. Mmm! It makes me wonder if Mr. V might have been more successful by capping off each math session with cookies and milk. Maybe the course of my life would have been different. I might have become an engineer. Welcome back. Here we go. I was, uh, I was just an ordinary student. When it says, I was just an ordinary student, uh, it simply means I did, I did not get uh, uh, bad grades, neither did I get good grades. Poo poo, tong tong, not good, not bad, just ordinary. I was an ordinary student. But there was one thing of great concern to my father. My father was concerned about one thing. Uh, and sometimes a concern means uh, meaning worry also. And that is he was worried about uh, my, what, next one? My mathematics skills. <sighs> if you think about it now, at least when I'm, I'm thinking about it now, actually my mathematics 
is not too bad. But in that day, at that time, uh, my math skills were very poor. 我的数学非常非常不好, okay? Uh, perhaps he hoped that someday I would go to college and become an engineer like his father. 或许他是这么想, that uh, I would someday go to college, 上大学, and I would become an engineer like his father, my grandfather, that's my father's father, got that? My father's father, my grandfather, was an engineer. He was um, a very clever engineer. In fact, as I was growing up, there were still some bridges. 有一些桥啊, uh, that my dad would show me and he says, Son, your grandfather designed, 设计, and built this bridge. So my grandfather was an engineer and my father was really hoping, I'm sure, that I would become an engineer like my, his father, like my grandfather, okay? For sure, my mathematics needed to improve. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Go ahead. <coughs> okay, Dad asked Mr. Vineyard, who lived farther up the hill. Now, we lived at the base of a hill. Woman should say a Xiao San Jiao. Xiao San de Ige Jiao. So, farther up the hill lived a man whose name was Mr. Vineyard. Oh, that's an interesting name. I used to call him Mr. V. Mr. Vineyard was a teacher, okay? Vineyard, by the way, vineyard means putaoyan. In fact, if you have ever been, uh, especially now in America's Northwest, lots of vineyards, putaoyan, okay? So, but this is the man's name, Mr. Vineyard, and he had a wife, okay? Dad asked Mr. Vineyard, who lived farther up the hill, to tutor me, okay? In this case, tutor means, well, often many people use tutor as 补课, or you could just say 教课, 教书, tutor. But usually tutor means one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, one teacher, one uh, student. So in a tutorial uh, situation. Uh, apparently, Mr. V, Mr. Vineyard, was very good in math. Now, I don't know how dad knew that, but somehow dad knew that he was very good in math. Going on. I was expected to walk all the way up the hill. Ah, behind our house a couple times a week. Okay, I was expected. In other words, in other words in this case, expected, it's not qi wang. It was my job, gui ding. It was my, what I had to do, my task, what a ren wu. Okay, to walk all the way up the hill behind our house a couple times a week. Maybe, I don't know, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, but that. A couple times a week, he, I was supposed to walk up there and to study mathematics 
with Mr. V. Now, <clears throat> this was a hard task, 很难的一个任务, okay? Okay. Uh, for a little boy, who would rather 你愿, what, is, what, what do you rather be doing? Playing than studying. 宁愿玩, Arbu uh, Okay? So it's a very hard task for a little boy. And I wasn't, uh, yeah, I was eight or nine years old, maybe, uh, quite young during those days. Go ahead. Although Mr. V was a nice man, and he was, um, actually, I, 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 I really don't remember much about Mr. V. Maybe, uh, as you will see, maybe because I didn't go enough times to really get to know him well, but uh, he was just a, a very nice neighbor. My dad enjoyed Mr. V. Nevertheless, Danshu, for some reason, I was always looking for ways to play hooky. Okay, uh, looking for ways to play hooky. Now, I was always looking for ways. 我一直要想办法, ways to play hooky. I don't know if you've ever heard of tao ke. Ah, that's playing hooky. Okay, um, this is very commonly used in America. Those who play hooky are those who are tao, tao ke. Although they have other words uh, nowadays uh, to explain this. Go ahead. Some days I would say I was sick. Some days I would say I was sick. Other days, I would make arrangements. I would make arrangements, okay, to do something important, of course. And it says here, and conveniently forget. Now, you know what convenient means, okay? Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, it's very convenient. Ah. But in this case, conveniently has a completely different meaning. You'd say a second meaning. Uh, maybe I should have put them in uh, quotation marks to show that the word didn't really mean to, uh, it's very convenient. Conveniently here means guide, guide. Uh, so I was guide Wang Ji. Oh, I forgot. You know, like that. But it was always on purpose. Okay. Eventually, it became apparent both to Mr. V and to my father. Okay. Zhong Yu. It became apparent, meaning it was uh, uh, okay, uh, to Mr. V and to my father that I was either not very talented, in this case, uh, or what? Not very talented. That means Mayo Ji Jong Tian Fun. Or one other possibility is at least not very interested. So either I was not talented or I wasn't interested. In either case, they said, okay, that's it going on. So I stopped. So uh, 
I don't remember how dad, how we stopped it, but uh, we just, one day dad said, hey, let's forget it. Maybe Mr. V should have learned a lesson from Mrs. Paul. Okay, now Mrs. Paul, yes, your woman, the lean ju. And Mr. V should have learned from Mrs. Paul, okay? Mrs. Paul, Paul learned something very interesting about the little boy. Now, she lived down 36th Street from our house. So, oh, from our house to Mrs. Paul's house uh, was not too far away. Maybe uh, walking fast, uh, three minutes, four minutes, not very far at all, three or four minutes. Okay, very close, okay? Despite the fact that she was tall, a uh, tall elderly lady, Jingguan, Tashiga, Yo Gao, Yo Lao, the Fu Nu. So she's tall. Man, she was tall. Uh, at least I felt so because I was very little, okay? And she was elderly, so Tan Nian Lao, okay? She was Nian, nian Lao and not really dynamic enough to hold the interest of energetic children. Buko yo jingshan, dynamic jingshan, huo li, okay? To hold the interest, zhua zhu wo men de xing qu, of energetic, uh, han huo yue de, Okay, or uh, Okay, so you got Jingguan, and then you got three things. Jingguan, she was, despite the fact that she was tall and elderly, not dynamic uh, to hold the uh, the interest or attention of little children going on. She did organize and teach a little neighborhood Bible story class every week. So what did she do? She organized a neighborhood, a neighborhood Bible story, uh, story time. Okay, she did do that and I went. And I went. Now, the next slide, let's go to the next slide. I was not really interested in the Bible stories at that time, but I always look forward to going. Why? That's a good question. If I was not interested, so, if I wasn't interested in the stories, then why would I want to go every week? I went, I went, I went. Why would I go? I mean, she was tall, she was elderly, she was not dynamic, and, and furthermore, she was telling Bible stories. I had no interest under the sun. Uh, in Bible stories, so why would I want to go? Going on, going. Mrs. Paul should be a Mrs. There. Mrs. Paul served cookies and milk, and no little boy in his right mind would pass up cookies and milk. So Mrs. Paul. Ti gong served ti gong bing gan and milk nyo nai and no little boy in his right mind would pass up cookies and milk no little boy in his 
right mind. In his right mind means 正常，没有一个正常的小小孩 would pass up 会错过 cookies and milk. You just don't do anything like that. No little boy in his right mind, 正常的 would pass up, 错过 Go ahead. Ah,、uh, it makes me wonder, and this is where I didn't think about. Obviously, I didn't think about this、uh, back then, but、uh, in more recent years, as I have, well, especially as I wrote this story. I got to thinking. What if? What if Mr. V would have learned a lesson from Mrs. Paul? And the way I wrote it was: It makes me wonder if Mr. V, who tried to teach me mathematics. Might have been more successful. 或许会更加成功。啊、uh, ，I mean, obviously, 他一点都不成功啊，失败了。We, I wasn't interested in studying mathematics, so, huh? Um, well, uh, since I wasn't interested in mathematics, before long, we stopped having our tutorial. Classes, but he might have been more successful by capping off each math session. 每一堂数学课后 ，now cap is a mouse, right? But if when we say capping off, we say at the very last or at the、uh, the the very end of the session. With cookies and milk, can you imagine what it would be like if I had studied、uh, mathematics and got cookies every time? Going on, maybe the course of my life would have been different. I might have become. An engineer. Maybe the course of my life, 我人生的道路 okay. Course that means what I would have done in my life. 或许啊，我人生的道路 would have been. Different. I would have chosen、uh, to do something different. Perhaps、uh, I might have become an engineer. Now, I must tell you that my son became an engineer. My grandfather was an engineer. My son. Uh, also became an engineer, but I didn't become an engineer. I became a teacher. Now, things might have changed if Mr. V would have used the same method as Mrs. Paul. Now, sometimes we need to use X. Extra attractions to help us to do the things we want. Little children, you think about it. Little children, really, they they have a hard time being motivated. You think about it.、Uh, children, they want to do what they want to do. But if you give them a little, a wider, outside 
incentive or reason, they say, hmm, okay. Now, in the case of Mr. V, he didn't give me any outside incentive. There was no reason to study mathematics. I didn't like mathematics. I wasn't interested in mathematics. I didn't, I found excuses to tao ke, to play hooky, to, to, I just didn't want to go. But I went and I went to the Bible class, Bible story class by Mrs. Paul. I wasn't interested in the Bible stories, but I sure did love the cookies. And sometimes for fathers and mothers, and maybe for people that are not, uh, uh, what do you say, um, having success with their um, getting people to do what they want, maybe you have to add an added value. Fu jia zhi, added value. Give them some other reason for doing what they probably are not too excited about doing. So that's what I learned. That's what I learned a long, long time ago. But it took me many years to figure that out. In those days, the cookies being gone, especially chocolate chipped cookies and milk. No child in his right man, would ever pass up something like that. Okay, let's take a look now. We have an email address, theoldprincipal at gmail.com, and our website, www.theoldprincipal.org. Hey, I've had fun sharing with you a little bit more of English, and I hope that you'll join me next time. Bye-bye for now.